So welcome in Florence, Christian. Uh, many thanks for taking the time for this interview. Um, with this increasing penetration of local energy resources like distributed generation or also active demand response, the planning and operation of power systems changes completely. What are the main challenges for electricity DSOs? Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to give you some answers uh, in, related to, to our challenges as uh, distribution system operators. Uh, at least we have two, I, I would say, uh, two big uh, challenges uh, to face uh, with. Uh, the first one, in fact, is a, is a financial uh, challenge. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I don't know if you, you are aware of this, but we have to invest a lot of money in the coming years. Uh, the figures uh, issued by the Commission is uh, up to 2020, is not so far away. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to, uh, to invest f 400 billion euros uh, in the distribution system operator. So it's double than the TSOs, uh, for example, ha uh, have to invest. Uh, why? Not only uh, because renewables, but because the distribution system system is, is aging, yes, uh, the, 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 the cables and the lines have decades, uh, years old. So we have, we have to invest a lot of money. This is, of course, a big challenge. Uh, whoever our shareholder are, uh, the, the question is to, to, to have the mark, to have the, the, the financial uh, possibility to finance it. And so we need another regulation. Definitely, we need another regulation. This is the third challenge. The second one is, of course, a technical challenge because, as you said, we have to, uh, to connect renewables on the distribution grid. Uh, often we have the impression in Europe that uh, renewables are connected on, on the high voltage grid. It's, it, it's, it's false because the, mainly in France it's more than, than 90 percent. Uh, uh, is connected to the distribution grid because uh, PV is on, on the low voltage, uh, mainly on the low voltage grid. And so the, the technical challenges we have to face uh, is the, the, to stabilize the, the voltage, the voltage control, because uh, on one side you, you, you connect renewables, you, uh, you bring electricity on the low voltage grid, and uh, the, the consumption uh, is not linked to, uh, to the input of electricity. So we have to handle uh, on a technical issue, on, on the low voltage and medium voltage uh, grid, uh, technical issues. We need, uh, f f to do this, we need new technology, storage. We need uh, another market design uh, to have a, a more flexible uh, demand uh, to, to handle with, the, with the, the input, which is uh, flexible. So I, to summarize, a financial issue and a technical issue. And uh, perhaps to add only, uh, to do this, we need, I said it before, one more time, another regulation. DSOs are regulated entities. Can they foster innovation? Because you were also talking about technical issues, for instance. I hope so, uh, Sofia. Not only, uh, it's our job, in fact. Our job is to, to, to make things possible, yes? We are, we say often uh, as, as DSOs, we are market enablers. Mm. We have to, to, to create not only the atmosphere, but the technical possibilities uh, for flexible demand, demand side management, for a smart home. We have to, to build our grid uh, so intelligent, so smart, as we say, uh, that the, the producer, PV producers, uh, wind producers can inject their electricity. Mm -hmm. So our job uh, is, is to make things possible. Uh, I, I think there are a lot of possibilities, new possibilities, the, uh, Big demand management, the, the load shading uh, management, all these new markets on, 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 the, on the low voltage, uh, on the retail market, can be a, a, a big chance for, for Europe and for the, for the market players, for suppliers, aggregators, uh, for, for curtailment uh, actors, if we as a grid make it possible. Many thanks for these interesting insights. It was a pleasure. Thank you.